program project grant is pretty cool. That's something that usually medical schools get. It's very rare for a non-medical institution to have a program project grant. We got our first one, I believe, in the history of the Cal State system when I came here and started in 2006. And that one was focused on understanding energy production and how that relates to heart failure and how you can blunt the damage to the energy factories inside the heart that make the necessary fuel that keeps your heart pumping. When it came up for renewal a couple of years ago, we started thinking about transitioning that grant toward regenerative medicine because that was the up and coming field. So this new grant that we've had, which is a renewal of our initial program grant, which is a testimonial to the fact that it went well and that the reviewers thought we did a good job and they wanted to keep it going for another five years. This grant is focused on stem cells, regeneration of the heart, and healing the damaged heart. So the title of the grant is Restoring Myocardial Healing. And so uh, we have four different investigators, myself and three others, one here at, U at SDSU, two at UCSD, and we form a team where we all have various interests that are aligned around how we can use stem cells to rebuild a damaged heart. My students are phenomenal. I wouldn't tell them that to their face. But the reality is that they're as good as any student anywhere in the country. Our lab can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lab at Harvard, at Stanford, at MIT. We do world-class research. They're dedicated, they're focused, they're enthusiastic. They have tremendous potential. Ideally, if everything goes well, we'll come up with a new paradigm for how to treat heart failure. We'll be able to use a patient's own cells and reintroduce them to their heart and rebuild the damage that's been caused by a heart attack or chronic heart disease. Improve quality of life, improve the length of life, and give people an alternative to the current approach of either getting a heart transplant or being put on drugs for the rest of your life. So if things work out, we'll put the surgeons out of business.